Hi there, this is Yoni from YBB Graphic Design and today we're going to learn all about the color picker window. So the color picker window is one of these windows that don't exist under Windows. So if you look anywhere here, you wouldn't find a color picker window. The way to access it is by double clicking on this color thing here you can double click and you'll get this color picker window come up an important notice is just to make sure that you're on the right one because if the stroke is on top and you double click that stroke thing then you'll only be affecting the stroke not the fill and many times you'll have a shape with a very thin stroke and you wouldn't be able to see any difference in what you're doing because you actually chose on the stroke and not on the fill and any effect you take in place will be on the stroke. So you have to make sure that the fill is on top. You can either just click it to activate or you can press the keyboard shortcut X. Now also activate as you can see it just toggles around between those two and double click on that. Now you'll be affecting the fill. So here you can easily mix or change colors. As you can see, you can just choose anywhere from any of these wide varieties of color here. You can just even click and hold as you drag along. The color which is displayed here on top is the color which you pick now. So any new color which you're changing will be the top color. And the color which is underneath is the old color. So if you have a shape and you want to recolor it, then you can easily compare the previous color to the new color which you're changing it to. Here we'll have all these letters as you can see HSB, RGB and CMYK. I've made a whole video about it there or there so you can go check it out. But just overall the hue, saturation and brightness that's what it stands for. The hue is the color, the saturation is the amount of color and the brightness is how dark or light it will be. And the RGB is for screens, it's made out of red, green and blue. And the CMYK is for printing, so these are printing values, cyan, magenta, yellow and black. You can change any of these values and in fact if you do change any value then you'll see all the other values will be changing accordingly because you're actually changing the color and you'll affect all the other values as well. So you can see some of them presented in a percentage and some of them in a value and the hue which is the color is presented actually in degrees. You can change any of these using your up and down arrow keys. You can just type in the number or you can even scroll on your mouse. That also does just as well the same job. Now a cool thing is that you can actually choose in one of them. So now you can see the brightness is selected. You can choose any of these. The hue is selected here, the saturation and all of that you can change right there by selecting it. This helps very much because this small bar here changes according to what you're choosing as well as this main color picker. But here you can change any of them. So say I've chosen this bright green and I want to change the saturation of this green. You can just hold on this saturation, choose it and now using this slider you can change any of the saturation values. You can click once on the slide or you can just drag these triangles anywhere and you can get a different saturation value to that same chosen color. You can also obviously change it from here but this just helps you visualize it more and is easier to change and see what you're actually doing. And of course the same thing goes for the brightness and the reds, the greens and all of that. You may have noticed by now that you have this exclamation mark and this cube mark what these are telling you, the exclamation mark is telling you that this color is not for print. That means this color is way too bright to be printed. The printing color uses CMYK, which is actual ink and is not just made out of light, like I explained in the video of RGB. So you won't be able to print a bright neon color like this on the printer or any bright color which you choose wouldn't be accepted on the printer and therefore you will have to change the color to match the printing. If you change any of the values using CMYK then automatically these colors will be okay for printing because it's only within the printing range. But if you're using RGB and you may be doing a quite a bright color, you may start have this exclamation 
mark appear which tells you that the color isn't printable if you're not going to print what you're doing and this work is only for online and you don't care about that because you're not going to print it then you really don't have to worry about that this is only if you're going to print it but if you're going to print then it's better you fix it right now instead of fixing it much later you can fix it very easily just by pressing on this and that does the job automatically it fixes up to the closest color possible you can just press on that color there as well and what this cube tells us here is that it's out of range of web colors so this is more for like very olden day computers where you have like specific colors which will fit the web but nowadays i really don't think you have to worry about that if you really are using your old computer and you're particular that you will get the colors right then you could press on that but i don't think you have to worry about that you could also choose this option use only web colors and they'll limit your colors to only what's accepted within the web but as i say nowadays you really don't have to worry about all of that now under here we've got the hex value which is the value of each and every color every single color has a different value and it comes in a hex value i spoke about the hex values also on my video on rgb you can check it out there it's made out of a hex code and then six digits or letters after that the first two represent the red the second two the greens and the third two the blues so you can actually type in here anyone i can do 0022 aa we'll see what color that will be it's like a blue color so you can type in or paste any color which you know if you know the hex value of it then you can type it in here or you can copy the hex value here to send it to whoever you're sending your colors to or your work and you can send all the hex values from there and then we've got one more option here which is the color swatches that's just all the swatches which you've got in the swatch panel I can under here so all these swatches will be displayed there besides for patterns or gradients so you only see actual fill colors you can see the difference here between a spot color and a process color i spoke about that a bit in the swatches video you can choose from all these many swatches which you have or you can search it but you aren't creating any new colors here so that's as far as the color picker window goes you also have another color picker if you choose your color window there under windows you can get to color and you can pull the whole thing out so you can see underneath here you've got also this color picker you can extend it more so you see the whole full range of all the colors you can choose from here just as well and change all these values you can change it from cmyk to rgb or to any other color mode you wish and you have the hex value over there so this is cooler because you can actually see live when you're changing anything unlike the color picker which you don't see live when you're changing any color let me just demonstrate that if you double click here and you change any colors you wouldn't be able to see live what you're doing so you can see the preview there but you can't see what you're doing to the shape unless you're using this color window wherever it's gone to you could also go to this option here recolor artwork or from edit and recolor artwork it's the same window and here you can recolor the artwork just as well and see it alive so there are a lot more options under this window we'll go through all of that in another lesson i hope so thank you so much for joining me on this video i hope you gained something from it if you did please give a like and subscribe also remember to leave any of your comments ideas tips or just anything you want to share or ask or add and i'll see you in the next video thank you